Currently, the DNR has control of the issuing permits for the building of CAFOs. Are you in favor of restoring local control to counties to regulate the construction of these operations? So short answer, yes. Uh, my political philosophy is definitely grounded in local control, self-government. Uh, my constructive criticism to the JFAN crowd at their emergency meeting on September 5th is local control sounds great, but you need to consistently apply it. And it needs to be an overarching mindset of restoring power to the local communities. You can't advocate for local control on things you like and then totally ignore local control on things you don't. That's inconsistent and leading to failure. Um, and this is, I think, the biggest thing, is no matter what the decision is on any of these issues, the decision should always be made in the best interest of the community. The decision should never be made because a bureaucrat said so. And again, that was something that happened in education recently as well, where there's a very controversial decision. Doesn't matter what the issue was, but the decision was made because the bureaucrat said so. And that's one of the reasons I'm running for office, is we need to make sure that our local leaders are always making the decisions in the best interest of the community, everything considered, the local leaders have the power, and no matter what the decision is, it's always made because this is in the best interest of our community, not because the bureaucrat said so. Phil? Uh, swine production has certainly changed in Iowa over the decades. Uh, in the late 1990s, uh, pork got down to about five cents a pound. And that pretty much eliminated all the small private producers in the state. And it was after that that the corporate uh, companies came in and it became vert vertically integrated. So you've got the packer and the feed mill uh, and, and the pigs all owned by one entity. And then they, they started paying uh, landowners to put buildings up. To, to house the pigs, and then it was their responsibility to get rid of the manure. That's, that's what we're in right now. Now, the economics of these things has changed drastically just in the last few months uh, because we rely on exports. And if we can't export all that pork and all the freezers in the country are full, uh, there may not be any place for some of this stuff to go. So the expansion of the uh, pork industry may be uh, coming to a, a halt here in Iowa because of of, uh, of the economics of it, but I do believe that the matrix that was set up in 2002 needs to be relooked at all the way through. Uh, that's uh, uh, almost two decades old and things have changed. I do believe there should be a way for some more local control and uh, uh, I think, again, uh, we can solve this problem. Uh, neighbors should be good neighbors, and I think most farmers and most farmers or the farmers that are hog producers, they want to be good neighbors, and, and, and I think there is a solution. We'll come together and we'll work on this.